since there is absolutely nothing to this game, well, it's rather barely a game at all, but whatever, I will make this short and sweet. And right from the start, the game is about billiard, or snooker, or pool, whichever word you use in your corner of the world. I will use billiard because that's what I'm used to, so if you don't like this kind of sport, bail out now. To start off with, the main menu doesn't make a bad impression with the city in the background and its neon lights. It actually looks quite nice, not really impressive, but still nice. The music is ok as well, but nothing beyond that. Well, for a very low budget game, from a rather new studio. After that, you will have a few options available, but what baffles me a bit is why the how to play section isn't inside the actual options folder. Kind of weird, but ok. Now we have a story, in this story you are this dude and he simply wants the best billiard player there is, but first he has to pass a few tests, divided in 3 levels. Essentially all levels are the same and your objectives are also the same. The only difference is that the first challenge of each level starts as a typical billiard game and you have to pocket all balls and get a minimum of 1200 points to move on. Each level has 3 to 4 challenges total, but in the remaining challenges you have to pocket less balls, but they are all across the table. If you beat a level, you get a trophy, and yes, there are only 3 levels. And yeah, that's all about the story. You can literally beat it in way less than an hour. Heck, I beat it in around 40 minutes with quite a lot of trial and error. So not only is the story beyond short and you don't even play against any kind of opponent, the trial and error in this game comes mostly from the controls because they feel too heavy. Or rather, the balls themselves feel heavy, they don't seem to roll or bounce properly. Now, after the short story, I had to try the other modes as well, of course. Versus mode is you against another split screen player trying to score the most points. Black Hole is also a versus mode against another player, split screen, but the points don't matter here because the goal is to get the black ball in the pocket and the first one who does it wins. Master is basically the first challenge of each level in the story mode, but with a time limit. So yeah, the game is cheap in every way you can imagine and to be honest, not worth it. If you wanna play billiard, then play it in real life. If not, then grab pure pool or pool husker or something like that. Or just play billiard as a minigame in Ryuga Gotoko Zero, 